What's up guys, Manny here, welcome back to the channel, this is so sad. The rumors seem to be true, one of my favorite garments, my favorite climbing shoe, in other words, the best climbing shoe of the world ever, seems to have finally gone out of production. I've spent quite a bit of time with this noblest of all foot receptacles, aggressive yet sensitive, slick yet reliable. This shoe has it all, but I'm not gonna waste more precious time praising this incarnation of high performance as I have done that vigorously in great detail during my gear review of what could be considered a pinnacle of human craftsmanship. What the hell am I talking about, you might ask? Well, it's precisely the 510 team. I say precisely because if I'd have to think about one word to describe this weapon of mass climbing problem destruction, I would go with precise. I remember when I tried this shoe for the first time, I wish to say it was love at first slip, but it wasn't. Uncomfortable, even painful, my toes screamed for mercy, but they couldn't hide a sinful rush of enjoyment. This relationship ripened, like a bottle of bad wine, and today, a good 5 or 6 years later, I still avoid this acrimonious wife of mine whenever I can. But in the rare cases we lay hands on each other, we fuse, into what I can only describe as a sacred symbiosis ready to take down problems demanding finical precision as well as raw brutal power. The 510 team accompanied or rather escorted my unworthy filthiness up more hardcore climbing than any other climbing shoe, and it did so while sacrificing its own beauty. For that I will forever be grateful, 510 team. Although jokes aside, I think the team was one of the most durable models on the climbing shoe market, certainly the most durable I've ever tried at least, despite its softness and the comparably thin rubber. The downturn retention is unmatched. We're exploring climbing into new depths here on the Manny the Monkey channel, so we have to come up with new terminology on a daily basis, like downturn retention, I like it. I mean here we have for a comparison the Scarpa Drago, which I reviewed recently, similar in softness but a lot thicker in initial rubber, and in the meantime the downturn has vanished and I can feel that the toe rubber on the left side is almost through already. Believe it or not, I think I'm climbing this team model for about 5 times as long as the Drago and it's still going strong, still rocking the downturn, still providing excellent performance, carrying me up my first 8C+. I also did all the hard bouldering I ever did, which is not much, in this shoe. However, it seems as if the golden perfect climbing shoe era is coming to a rather dead-hearted end. Wherever I try to find another team in my size, it either says sold out or they lure me in with ridiculous discounts before they shatter my knowingly naive yet existent hopes with ridiculous sizing. Feel free to choose between 26 EU and 52 EU. Rejoice, try-hard 5-year-olds and incredible climbing hulks, while I reach for another round of homeopathic antidepressants. My friends, I dare say we are witnessing the dangers of profitability dictatorship. The team was not lucrative enough for 510's new owners. May it be due to its obnoxiousness and therefore unpopularity amongst climbers, or the fact that it protects its owner from a quick new purchase due to extreme durability, we will never know. Fact is that even when I click my top most supreme first affiliate link I ever created, the links in the description down below of course, it only says 46.5 EU. How disappointing. Well life goes on and that's where you guys come into play. Is there somebody out there, a shining light in the darkness, a hero, who found a 510 team replacement? Please let me know in the comments down below so that I can give it a try and maybe make a new My Favorite Climbing Shoe Gear Review. And drop a like of course when you're down there already, that's always cool. Sorry team, I know it's hard for both of us, but I need to move on. When you get old, I will resold you one more time, but we both know that these superficial operations won't restore your youthfulness entirely. I will miss you. Bye.